Welcome back, Sethling here. Normally I suck at building terrain or organic shapes in Minecraft, but with the help of a couple of MC Edit filters that I wrote, I was able to make this awesome tree in less than 10 minutes. And in this video, I'll show you how you can do it too. So first I'm going to build a miniaturized version of the tree. I'll lay down a layer of dirt first, and then I'll build the tree on top of that. Now I'm going to speed this up because the actual layout of the blocks is not really important here. Uh, this is the part that requires a little bit of creativity, but it's pretty easy to make a small model of the object that you want to make. Okay, now that I've finished building the model, I'll fire up MC Edit to actually apply the filters. Alright, so the first filter I'm going to apply is the Enlarge filter. It's going to take this small model of the tree, and it's going to make it grow by a factor of... Uh, five. This, this factor is adjustable in the filter. I first need to select a box around the tree. I want to make this box as small as possible while still encompassing the tree. And so I'm, I'm making sure that all of the bounds of the box are tight against the edges of the tree. <coughs> so next I'm going to select the filters tab, go down to my enlarge filter, and I'll set the scale factor to five. Now, there's two different options for the centering. One is to center on the actual center of the tree, and it'll make it explode outward. And the other option is to center on the bottom center, which is going to make it sort of grow up and outward, which is what we want, because it's already on the surface that we want it on. Okay, so we're going to use this filter, and it looks kind of a little bit glitchy right now. We actually have to save in order to get MC Edit to, to render the whole thing. Once we save, we can see the whole tree. It's very blocky. Every block from the original tree is now f a 5x5x5 five by five by five cube in this, in this version of the tree. Next, we're going to use the smooth filter, and that's going to turn this blocky tree into the smooth tree that we saw at the be beginning of the video. So in this case, I'm going to select a box around it. I don't want the box to be very big. Uh, but I do want it to be just a little bit bigger than the actual tree itself, just a couple blocks past the edges of each each boundary on the tree. And this filter is going to take quite a bit longer to run, just because the code is not necessarily quite as efficient, and it's doing a lot more in order to do the smoothing. Now, there's a, uh, there's a smoothness factor, and I'm setting it to 3. It's about half the scale factor that we used. The smoothness factor determines sort of for each block there's a sphere of radius equal to three in this in this case, which determines what what the algorithm looks at to figure out what the block should be changed to. Uh, I'm not going to go into great detail on that, but this, the larger the smoothness factor, the more smoothing it will do, but also the longer it will take. And for larger smoothness factors, the algorithm can actually take quite a long time. So. I recommend using a, a smoothest factor that's pretty small. Three is three is good for something where you've increased a, the model by a factor of five. Um, but this is going to take a while to run, so I'm actually going to skip ahead to the end of this. All right, it just finished the smoothing. It took about three minutes to finish that up. Um, one thing to note if you do end up downloading this, these filters and using them is to make sure you use the smooth shape filter and not the smooth filter. That's, that comes with MC Edit. All right, so now we'll just save and hop back into my world and take a look. All right, so here it is once again. Now that you've seen how it was built, you can maybe appreciate uh, all the parts of it a little bit better. Um, I know uh, Disco has been using the Enlarge filter a lot in some of his projects recently, and he said it's been working out great for him. Uh, if you do want to use them yourself, you can just download the filters from the video description and put them in the filters folder of your MC Edit installation to install them, and then you can use them just like I did in this video. If you don't know anything about MC Edit at all and you want to learn a bit, there's also a link to an MC Edit tutorial that I did uh, a little bit ago. That link is also in the video description. And thanks for watching.